Hey everyone, and welcome back to Kimball's Corner, where today we are doing our favorite cartoon character. Oh my god, you guys, there are so many, and I was racking my brain because I have so many favorites. I've already drawn and painted a lot of my favorites, but one that came to mind was a little more, little more nostalgic than anything, and that would be Marge Simpson. I know, weird, right? But I was thinking about it, and I was like, as a kid, I, I felt more like a Lisa Simpson, you know? I, was, I liked my academics. I wasn't the most popular, but I was popular enough. But like my brothers and sister were a little more popular. They were a little more outgoing, a little bit more troublemakers and a lot more into sports. So I didn't really like, you know, fit into any of that. So Lisa was my jam as a kid, but as an adult, like I act like an adult, uh, I'm gonna say Marge. She puts up with a lot of crap. Not that I do, but I love that about her. Like she is patient. She can put up with, you know, a lot. So that's who I'm gonna try to draw today with my Jane Davenport color sticks. I haven't used these babies in a while, so I'm a little rusty. And I will be combining them with some colored pencils over here. Not so much like shading with those. It's just gonna be some fun line work. I mean, she's a cartoon after all, so I feel good about doing the line work. I should probably pick out the colors that I'm gonna use. Skip this part. Okay, I think for the most part, I got the colors that I wanted. It's kind of a lot. There's more if I need them, but I'm thinking she has hazel eyes. She's got yellow skin, but I'm gonna give her more of a realistic skin tone with yellow in it. I'm not sure really where I'm going with that. Uh, blue for the hair and red for her pearls. I guess not pearls, it's, it's a necklace, whatever. Red beads. Yeah, I think that's where I'm gonna go with this. <laughs> I didn't think this through. Uh, I'm gonna pull out a paint brush. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use water, but these are water soluble, so I can wet them down and spread them around. So we'll see how that goes. You know the drill, I'm putting on my tunes. I've got my coffee. It's, the ice cube is melting so fast and it's already getting so wet. It's so hot. I think I said it was 85 degrees in here. That was a hyperbole, okay. It's like maybe 78 to 82 up here. It's hot y'all, but you know, we do. Oh my God, so good. All right, I'm gonna put on my tunes and we're gonna do this.
Okay, so we're not done, obviously, but I just wanted to point out that, yes, these are water-soluble, but also they are very smudgeable. I decided, like, normally I smudge them, but I decided against it because this is textured paper. And as you can see down here, like, it shows, like, the texture in the paper a little more than I would like. I used the water brush that way it would, like, bleed into the texture and cover it up a little bit more. And I think for the most part, like, it gets... I think it becomes pretty darn permanent, if not, and maybe semi-permanent. We'll, we'll play it safe and say semi-permanent, but I think it gets pretty permanent. So I'm going to bring in some colored pencils and maybe some other things that I see lying around that I may or may not want to spruce it up a little bit, but we'll see, we'll see where this goes. And back to the art. Oh my word. 
there we have it. So she's vibrant, holy smokes. Since I normally don't use water with the color sticks, I laid them down a little thick, because normally I smudge them, and you'd want them a little bit thicker so they smudge together better. Uh, so I laid down a lot more pigment than I really needed to, like a lot more. Uh, I could have, I could have mellowed out quite a bit. But there we have it, Marge, good old Marge Simpson. And uh, yeah, I did her in the color sticks. We love the color sticks, they're so much fun. Super versatile. And I uh, did a little color pencil on top, just to like kind of tie it in together, give it more of a cartoon feel. Plus that's just the way I like to work. So yeah, there we have it. Let's get, let's get this. And let's, let's do the neon yellow and cross off cartoon character. Done. We are done with the cartoon character. Tomorrow, your favorite food. I have drawn like three pictures of food in my life, so this will be interesting. Can't wait. Bye, you guys.